The purpose of this video is to describe RAM compatibility with the Noctua DH15 CPU cooler. Uh, this case is a Cooler Master HAFX, uh, so it's one of the biggest ones that's even on the market. And this cooler is just so incredibly massive that you'll still have clearance issues uh, even with the biggest case on the market. So you could align this uh, 90 degrees so that it flows upward, but then the GPU, whatever you have here, is going to block the flow. So I would recommend you set it up so that it flows from right to left. Um, you could put the fans on the other side, but then they'd be in a pull configuration. It's more efficient to have the fans in a push configuration. And because you have this exit fan pushing this way, you don't want to have them try to flow this way. So you need the fans to flow this way. It's more efficient to have them pushing, so you want them on the right side of the heat sink. So this is the most logical way to have it installed. When you do have it this way, this fan is so huge that it, it is sitting and touching the top of the RAM stick there. I first had some RAM in there that was a G-Skill um, rip jaws that had a heat sink, and that pushed this fan up so high that I couldn't close the side case the side of my case without it uh, pushing on here and it wouldn't seat on this side. So I returned the rip jaws and I bought some Aegis or however you pronounce it that doesn't have any heat sink. And you can still see how this fan sits up higher than this fan. So I would recommend getting RAM without any heat sinks when you're installing the Noctua DH15 cooler.